All right, guys, welcome back. My name is Jen Neal from Res Inspired. I'm still using the Bright Tone from Craft Meek. This is kind of like my new stuff, along with Glidden Premium Untinted Base. If you want to know the details, the video previously, which I'll post right here, that goes into specific details on how I mixed everything. But essentially, uh, everything is the same. I'm using a lot of Craft Meek colors, so I have black. I have blue that I modified with green and black. Uh, I did use a primary elements color. This is autumn leaf. And I did mix it with a little bit of orange peel. So it gave me this really pretty burnt orange. Then this is Jasper Red from Primary Elements, another color that I love. This is uh, Krafnik's Champagne Predispersed Mica Pigments. And then this guy is Yellow Rose. No, I'm sorry. Actually, oh my gosh, something got in there that is not good. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll go with it. But yeah, it was uh, Mango Freeze with orange, with a little with a little drop of premixed orange that I had from another pour. But now it's a lot darker because something got in there. I don't know how that happened. Maybe it was on the stick or the side of the cup. But anyway, it makes it look like a deep gold now. So that's okay. And this is Craft Neek's Gold, which I also toned down a little bit with the champagne. And then we have our cell activator, which I also put one drop of high flow nickel azel gold in it. Because I really like that off-white color. You guys have seen me use it before. For the pillow, it's uh, Glidden Premium Ultra White Base 1 Semi Gloss. Okay. So, all of these that you see here, except for the predispersed mica pigments, is a 1 to, f to 3 or 4 part ratio. As long as the consistency is okay and it's streaming off the stick, then I'll stay at 3. If it's really watery or runnery, or runnery, <laughs> runny, then I'll add the fourth part. But usually, like lighter colors and stuff, you gotta cut back on the on the pouring medium mix a little bit. So, uh, I am gonna put out some like start to finish tutorials, in so you guys can understand better. But right now, I'm just trying to demonstrate how it works. I'm trying different things and modifying it and using different uh, different paints and colorants. So we can see how far it goes. I did do two paintings, two large paintings, and they worked out great. As a matter of fact, I'll pull it out and show it to you. This is going to be the new guy. I mean, this is Primary Elements and Craft Neek. You can see the gloss on it, and it's just, it's beautiful. It didn't fade or mat out, so the bright tone really, really, uh, you know, the bright tone made it happen, man. So I, I recommend it. Um, I, <laughs> I can't really tell you anything more other than I love it. You know, I'm so angry at myself because it was sitting on my shelf for like six months and I didn't even know that it was going to work. I saw high solids on the label and I was just like, mm. you know, it computed in my head that it wasn't going to work, but it sure did. All right, let's start off with our pillow. So we're going to do something different this time. I've watched a couple of videos like Tammy Anderson and Erica Hughes and Saskia Smith and, um, you know, my, my go-to person is Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. However, a lot of these ladies are spreading out their pillow and we're going to do the same thing today because they were basically demonstrating that you don't need a really thick pillow, which is a good thing because it opens up a lot of opportunities for other crafters, whether you're doing tumblers or ornaments or whatever, then your pillow has to be thinner anyway, so it can spread out and, you know, go around or, or whatever. Just something is telling me 
to put the black down first. So that's what we're going to do. I'm trying to do one big bloom, but we'll see what happens. Man, I hope this works because I put a lot of work into this one too. Okay. Is this me black? Black and blue. Those tiles dried great. And then I dropped one. So I'm hoping to God I can fix it or, you know, just somehow make it work. Actually, that's really thick. So when that happens, I'm going to add a little water to it. Whoa! Spilling and throwing stuff. This is the autumn leaf and the orange. It was just kind of really thick to me. So we're going to thin it out. Okay. This is the Jasper Red, which also has a little black in it. This is Champagne. Right here's the other little gold. Nope. I'm going to add more Jasper Red. Something's telling me to do that. Here is the gold. And our saw activator. And just float it on the top. Maybe one more. All right, I have to pull it away to blow because the camera's low. Blowing is key, man. If you don't blow right, <laughs> it's a wrap. But we got ourselves, we got our stuff going, so woohoo. So it's always good to let it sit for a second because a lot of times it will come back under itself. If you start tilting and it's not moving into the center, then you blew too hard to the center. So you need to like push, you know, your, your pillow back into it. So it'll lift up and it will, you just gotta, you know, just go easy. God, that is so pretty. You guys, I can't believe how pretty this is. My moderator Valerie is watching right now. She's got mute on cause her kids are running around. <laughs> But this bright tone, you guys, like, you can stretch, like, really good. And look at that. That is just beautiful. Like, I swear if I lose this or if something happens, I'm going to cry. Ah! See? Okay. Focus, Jen. Focus. Oh, my gosh. Wow, 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 wow.
look. Oh my gosh. Now, if that isn't beautiful, I do not know what is. Oh my gosh. Oh, and my chicken's done. Ah, it hurt. Let me show you this one. Mmm. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button if you love this if you love this uh triplet. See you next time. Bye.